Hi, I'm your host, Amy Frina. For over 30 years, Care Credit has been enabling people just like you to get the care, procedure, or surgery they want or need when they want it. Behind the thousands of amazing testimonials we receive from our cardholders are the dedicated providers and healthcare workers who make these stories possible. In this series, we are giving you exclusive access to these well-respected and renowned care experts who are all part of our Care Credit Network and asking them to share the information and answers you need to make informed decisions about your health, wellness, and personal care. Our topic is photo rejuvenation, and here to tell us all about it is Dr. Jacob Rispler. Dr. Rispler is a well-respected, board-certified dermatologist and a member of the American Academy of Dermatology and the American Society of Laser Medicine and Surgery. He has three practices in Southern California and attracts patients from around the world. Dr. Rispler and his innovative techniques have been featured on local and national television, in magazines, and in medical articles. Hey, I'm Amy, and we are joining you live from the studio today with Dr. Rispler, who is going to tell us a little bit about photo rejuvenation. How are you today? Fine, thank you. All right, doctor, so if you could not be a dermatologist, what would you be? Well, I was interested in political science, but I'm not going to say politician. Okay, safe. What's your favorite thing to do on your day off when you're not working? I know you work a lot. Well, I enjoy going to the theater, classical music. Okay, wonderful. What is one thing in your life that you absolutely could not live without? My dog. What's your dog's name? Well, I have two. Okay. What, you don't have to tell me which one's your favorite. What are their names? Emmy and Kaylee. Emmy and Kaylee. How old are they? They're about three years old. Okay. And they keep you company? Yes, all the time. Good. And they don't talk back. I love that. My right. cats don't either. It's a miracle. Um, all right. Is there anything that you've binge watched lately? The Hostage on Netflix. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? Well, it was riveting. Yeah? Yes. I agree. All right, well, we're going to get into some questions. So, doctor, what is photo rejuvenation and what conditions can it treat? Well, it's an older term. It was developed about 20 years ago. Uh, originally, we had lasers that specifically were single wavelength that attacked specific conditions. Okay. Like if you had a red face, you use a pulse dye laser. Mm -hmm. If you had brown lesions, you would use a YAG laser. Um, but they were hard to use and very difficult technologies. They developed IPLs, which are intense pulse light, broadband light sources, non-lasers, mm -hmm. that could be used in some spa settings too. Okay. Now, they were lower level devices, but they would attack both parts of sun-damaged skin, the red areas and the brown areas. Okay. And give you a little bit of wrinkle reduction too. Very little bit, but every little bit helps. Gotcha. Um, the problem with these lower level devices, intuitively you think lower level devices are safe. So you can get into a lot of problems. Number one, it was only designed for lighter skin patients. Uh -huh. So most of the world cannot have an IPL. Okay. Number two, um, they burn the skin mm -hmm. and people would end up with stripes. Okay. And it was used in a lot of inexperienced non-medical places. All right. So that sort of fall. So this whole photo rejuvenation has fallen off the wayside. Mm -hmm. So we have these newer devices, radio frequency devices, and pico lasers, which do the same thing much more effectively and much safer. Okay. And less expensively. Well, that's always a good thing. What makes someone a good candidate for that? Well, with the newer devices, anybody that has any sun damaged skin. Really. Um, so you can even treat people with African heritage. Uh, the IPLs, you can't go darker than somebody from Southern Europe. Interesting. Wow. Okay. So what would you say then is the average cost associated with treatment? So the street price used to be for the spas, six treatments for $1,500, and the patients would get a minimum but visible effect. Okay. So now we could do the same thing for even less um, in one or two sessions. Really? Can you give me a ballpark price for anybody out there that's curious? Well, it depends how severe they are. Right. So it does depend on that. Right. Gotcha. And usually, um, I specialize in severe cases, so I just don't do this IPL effect alone. Mm -hmm. Although I have a device for those people that just specifically have had it somewhere else, and I could duplicate it at the same six treatments for $1,500 if they want it. But that's antiquated. So usually... Once they're aware that 
uh, because they've only gone to medical spas, that I can actually tighten the skin and I could get rid of the deep wrinkles and I could do the eye lift. They usually, if they can, pull it off and want to do everything. Um, what other questions should we ask in a consultation? Well, for photo rejuvenation, what does it actually do? Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how much redness can it take away? Mm -hmm. Can somebody has severe redness, the photo rejuvenations aren't strong enough. Right. Then you have to go to the lasers, the radio frequency, mm -hmm. which coagulates the blood vessels. On right. the other hand, you don't want to do too extreme a treatment because that alabaster porcelain sort of doll-like look is not a current look. Right. Although some of the patients do want it, uh, especially the older ones. Each to his own. Mm -hmm. Are there any risks associated with this procedure? Well, with a classic IPL, a lot of risks. So mm -hmm. number one, even a light-skinned patient like yourself, if you had a tan, it would strip off the tan. But since the light comes out in strips, you'd actually have striped skin. Oh, Which not is good. not very attractive. No. <laughs> so the skin has to be prepped. Uh, so tell us about how the procedure is performed. Well, the classic photo rejuvenation using a tense pulse light the least expensive devices don't have any cooling, and that's where they run into problems. Okay. So the new advanced version I have has extreme cooling, so that's why we could take even the IPLs to a darker skin because the cooling protects the darker skin patients. Okay, gotcha. Is there anything that the patient can do at home before having the procedure done? Well, we usually prep the patients with a bleaching cream. It doesn't bleach out the skin, but it prevents any tanning. So gotcha. extreme tanning is no good. Okay. Um, and uh, they have any open wounds should be managed mm -hmm. by a dermatologist. So a lot of people think they just have red skin, but they may have rosacea, which is an inflammatory disease. Right. So just doing a photo rejuvenation is not going to do anything. So you first have to make a diagnosis, gotcha. which you need a doctor there for. Correct. What can a patient expect to experience during treatment? Well, if there's no cooling, it could be fairly uncomfortable, even more uncomfortable than the laser because it goes pretty slow. The lasers are very fast, hmm. so it's micro, microseconds, gotcha. thousands of a second. The Pico laser is billionths of a second, so wow. that's very fast. You don't even feel it. With the IPL, it's slow, hmm. and it could be painful unless and you can't use numbing ointment because you want to have the patient feedback because that right. tells you whether you're burning the patient. So it could be fairly uncomfortable, but it's not terribly uncomfortable. What can the patient do to help improve healing? Well, usually after the, after the intense pulse light, we just use these medicated moisturizers that have antibiotics in it. Gotcha. So in case there's any microscopic opening of the skin, it doesn't get infected. So what about all those girls that wear those massive hats because they've had these procedures done and they don't want any sunlight on their face? Is that them... No, that's not the IPL. Okay. So that's the old school, either chemical peels, gotcha. deep chemical peels, or the old CO2 lasers. Okay. And we don't need to do that anymore now that right. we have new technology. Right. I'm learning so much. Okay. Um, how long does it usually take to recover from the treatment? Of days. I mean, you don't. there's really very little pain afterwards, or there should be very little pain afterwards. Okay. And days okay. where you can have some social downtime. All right. And some microscabbing. Okay. Are follow-up treatments normally required? Well, usually with the low-level IPLs, they usually sell them in six packs, six at a time. Really? With the newer treatments, uh, there's one or two, okay. and then we assess the patients a year or two after because it's a moving train. They get further sun damage. Right. They may want to have further maintenance. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we're going to head to our lightning round. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Are you a homebody or on the go? On the go. I can tell that about right. you. Beach or mountains? Beach. Milk chocolate or dark? Should be dark, but I have a soft spot for milk. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. You're allowed. Book or a movie? Book. Dine in or take out? Neither. Neither? Neither. All right. Does that mean you're cooking at home? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, art gallery or a sporting event? Art gallery. All right. Flip-flops or tennis shoes? Flip-flops. All right. And sleep in or get up? Get up. There's work to right. be done. Right. <laughs> All right, Dr. Risplor, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We learned a lot about photo rejuvenation from one of the country's leading board certified dermatologists. If you're considering this procedure, we hope we've provided the information that you need to decide if you want to take the next step and schedule a consultation. All the healthcare experts featured recommend and accept the Care Credit credit card. 
Remember, Care Credit is a leading national healthcare credit card that can enable you to get many of the surgeries, procedures, and treatments you want now and pay over time with everyday promotional financing on purchases of $200 or more. Care Credit can also be used to pay for copays, coinsurance, deductibles, and your health and wellness needs. Care Credit is accepted at hundreds of thousands of locations nationwide to pay for care whenever you need and want it. If you are interested in applying for a Care Credit credit card or would like to find a provider in your area who accepts Care Credit, visit us at carecredit.com. And if you found this information valuable, please leave us a five star review on the App Store and a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'm Amy Frena with Care Credit, and I will see you soon.